Parametric blocks are a great way of producing AutoCAD drawings and models that require common objects with slight nuances between the instances and when including various symbol styles. They allow users to include a range of tools to amend the block size, visual appearance, listed textual content and so on. They are a great addition to an organization's CAD standards when approaching AutoCAD file production regarding civil and structural projects and beyond. By using the scale action parameter, users can easily scale objects and symbols using a reference node inside of the block. This workflow enables users to efficiently and accurately scale objects between two points or scale the object by a numerical value. Its application in regards to civil and structural engineering could be for blocks containing symbols representing items that change in size, such as brake line indicators and doors or windows. One of the most commonly used action parameters is the visibility function. Having multiple visibility states inside of a block allows users to change the appearance of a symbol or object by selecting the appropriate visibility state from the drop-down menu when working in either the model or layout spaces inside of AutoCAD. Visibility states efficiently allow users to swap blocks to the correct appearance and help cut down on the amount of blocks required inside of an AutoCAD file. This means that not only do drawings and models become quicker to produce, but they also become lighter in memory size. We know AutoCAD has the ability to rotate objects by using the rotation command, but what if we only want to rotate particular aspects of an object without having to explode the block? This is where the rotation action parameter comes into fruition. By using a reference point, users can stipulate which items inside of an AutoCAD block they wish to rotate using the parameter. It could have various uses, including the rotation of symbology such as section marks and north arrows, or it could be used for components such as the rotation of a construction crane or excavator model block. Rotation parameters allow the different instances of the same block type to have various rotational outcomes depending on the user requirements inside of AutoCAD. By combining a linear dimension grip and the stretch action parameter, users can stretch blocks in either the X and Y planes. It works in a similar fashion to the stretch command inside of AutoCAD, where a user is asked to define a selection area to include all the objects and object nodes they wish to amend. Users can stretch AutoCAD objects such as polylines and polygons hosted inside of the block for the requirements of various instances by using the same block type. It is useful when applied to parametrically altering symbology, such as the depth of a wipeout element inside of a break indicator, or for the distance between two section mark indicators. Users can even mix and match action parameters. For example, a stretch parameter can be rotated using the rotate action parameter, so that the stretch can occur in any direction defined by the user requirements. The flip action parameter is really useful when users want to keep items such as block attributes equidistant from the host symbol. This allows the attribute to be filled out once and ensures the user doesn't need to manually adjust the text location when clashes with other blocks or information occurs. The great thing is, the spacing is maintained, but the text is flipped as opposed to mirrored, keeping it legible. It can of course be used for almost anything that requires to be mirrored. In this example, we have used the flip parameter to swap the direction we want to show our section marker. The flip action parameter is another example of how AutoCAD can provide geometrical efficiencies by reusing the same data in differing scenarios. The final action parameter we're going to be looking at is the alignment tool. This is possibly one of the easiest action parameters to configure. Inside the block editor, users simply need to place the alignment grip to where they want it in relation to their object. In our example, 
We've used an alignment action parameter with an elevation mark symbol. It allows us to easily drag the block around the model and interact with the already drawn geometry. This is especially good for when views are at angles not at 90 degrees or various UCS views are included inside of the model space. As we've seen, parametric blocks can really enhance the user experience inside of AutoCAD, allowing project teams to accelerate their drawing and model production. The application of a variety of scenarios where parametric blocks can enhance your workflows is endless. All you need to do is give them a go.